I'm getting ready to take a run. You know, two days ago I ran 12 miles and I've uh, recovered fairly well from it. So I'm going to take another run today. Seven miles is my target. I'm hoping to do it in less than an hour. And I wanted to show you guys uh, the preparations I take for, for running. Um, one of which uh, is this cool thing here on the front of my shoe, a shoe wallet. And, uh, you know, you go out on a run, you don't want to ever go out totally broke. So take ten bucks, stick it in the old shoe wallet. You can even stick your house key in there and uh, you'll have money with you in case you really need a beer or a milkshake or a cab home. The other thing I wanted to show you guys is uh, how to tie your shoes if you run. So we all know the beginning part, just uh, an overhand knot. But what most people don't know is the secret to tying shoes that won't come untied. You start out normal, you loop over, and and when you're almost done, you've got the knot there, just bring this loop back through again. And you see the way it, it gives you a double knot right there. This shoe will not come untied while you're running. But it will come untied when you want it to. So, that's part of what I do. I also like to uh, listen to some podcasts while I'm running because I'm an information junkie. I feel like Mr. Rogers changing my shoes here in front of you. So, uh, yeah, this is what I use. The uh, iPod Nano, 2 gigabytes, holds a bunch of podcasts, and if I want to switch over to music, it'll, it'll do that too. I keep it clipped on the back of my hat because any place else it bounces around too much. I wind up the earbud in, into a coil and drop it inside the hat with just with just a tiny little bit hanging out the edge. And then I put the hat on and pull out just enough to get the one earbud to, in my ear. Um, I, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, only one earbud, only one earbud. That way uh, the other ear is free, and uh, I can hear cars and mountain bikers running towards me and stuff like that. The other thing I always take is my Road ID. These are uh, made by a company called Road IDs, RoadID.com, and uh, what this thing is, uh, I've got the deluxe model. What it does is there's a number on this thing. If I should uh, become incapacitated or something, it says that it's it says that it's an ID right on it. Um, they can go, lo either log on to the website or call a toll-free number, and my complete medical record is online, waiting for uh, any emergency personnel to deal with should they need it. I've got uh, contact information. It's an ankle bracelet. So, oh, yeah. There you go. It's an ankle bracelet. And uh, those of you who know me well know I smoked cigarettes for 25 years. And uh, because of that, my lungs are just totally fucked up. And, uh, I need to uh, treat my asthma. So a couple of hits. <clears throat> and I'm ready to run. So I'm going to go do seven miles and I'll be back. Is he gone? Okay. Welcome back to One Man's Lessons, the video blog where you get to learn from my mistakes. I wanted to show you guys something that I found. I've been suffering from plantar fasciitis a little bit here, and what that is is the tendons along the bottom of your foot are all uh, tight and stretched out and they get inflamed when you run or, or when you walk too much. 
what you got to do to keep that from happening is stretch them out. And the way you do that is with one of these. This thing here is a floor roller. It sets under your desk, and you just rub your foot across it, and it keeps those tendons all nice and stretched out. Because if those tendons are stretched out, you don't get plantar fasciitis. So, I wanted to tell you about that. I wanted to tell you guys to check out my blog at onemanslessons.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and see my latest postings at youtube.com slash marshwildman. Okay, so I'm back. I did seven miles in 95 minutes. It was a recovery run, so uh, those, those miles were a little bit slow, but uh, hey, they were miles. And uh, now what i got to do is uh, stretch out uh, all my tendons and stuff because they're pretty tight and my quads feel like rocks. I use this stuff here, Origins Leg Lifts. This, uh, it's got menthol, eucalyptus, all kinds of stuff in it that uh, makes your muscles tingle a lot. Almost freezes your legs for the first few minutes when you put it on. And then uh, it, uh, it relaxes your muscles. It's good stuff. Anyway, that's all for right now. I've got... Uh, the uh, Run to Feed the Hungry in two days on Thanksgiving Day. So, um, I'm planning on running two laps. It's a 10K run. I'm planning on doing it twice just to get my uh, 12 miles in. Uh, Ten days after that is the, uh, the marathon, California International Marathon. So, I'll be checking back in a couple of days. Until then, see you guys later. Oh, hey, if you want to follow me on Twitter... Uh, just look for at Marsh's Fitness or at Bike Gems. So.